So you want to get your Nintendo Switch to display on your computer monitor. How can you do this? Well, I'm going to show you how in a few simple steps, so follow along. This is helpful if you want to stream and share your gameplay with others online or just record clips on it that are longer than 30 seconds. I'll break this video up in three sections, the hardware setup, the VLC software setup, and the OBS streaming software setup. Other than your Switch hardware with the dock and the HDMI cable and the power cord, the only other physical hardware you need is some kind of capture card or video capture device. And this one I picked up from Amazon for under $20. It's the Papiso capture card and you could really use any brand. It doesn't have to be too expensive. This was just the first one I found when I searched video capture card on Amazon. And the neat thing about this is that you can plug in with USB or USB-C and it has a little adapter that's attached to it. So I find that very helpful because my MacBook is all USB-C. So to get it connected on the hardware side, you're going to make sure your dock is connected through the power cord and HDMI on the back like how you would dock to a TV. And so make sure that's all connected. And then you're going to plug the other end of your dock, Nintendo Switch dock HDMI to this HDMI video capture card device. So here's my other end of the HDMI that's plugged into my Nintendo Switch dock and I'm just going to connect it through the video capture device on the HDMI side. And then you simply just connect this to your computer. And now we're going to download a free software VLC media player to have it show correctly on your computer. A software I recommend to read the capture card is called VLC Media Player. Now this is a free open source software and I have it downloaded for my Windows Bootcamp machine. I've been using VLC for many years. You could use it to view movies and other things and it's great with connecting to capture cards. And so once you have that installed, you're going to go to Media at the top and then you're going to go to Open Capture Device. And here you'll of course want to make sure your switch is plugged into your capture device and plugged into your computer and it should show up under video device name here. Mine shows up as USB 3.0 capture and you'll want to set the same for audio device name. Mine shows up as digital audio interface 2-USB 3.0 capture. It might be different for your capture card device. And so Simply you can click play and it should show up something looking like this. So it's not optimized yet, but you can test around seeing if it works, seeing that the sound works. I'm controlling it with my switch handheld controllers now. And to optimize it, the thing that worked for my computer is you go back to open capture device. You could set the video device to 1920 times 1080 in the options here. And then if you click advanced options, the picture ratio that works for me is 16 colon 9 or 16 by 9. And for video input frame rate, you could leave that just default. I put mine at 60. And there's other tuning things that you can do here, but for my monitor, this seems to work and you click OK and then you click play. Crossing your fingers, it shows up much smoother. You could still control it with your controllers. And as you can see, it seems to work. The sound comes through your speakers, so I'm using just separate gaming speakers plugged into my computer at this time. And also you'll notice that it's not full screen. So if you want to record this or share it through streaming, you can 
go and click the full screen toggle button at the bottom. And now you're able to enjoy your Switch games on Switch. These settings on VLC I got from the YouTuber Sam Carlton. Here's his YouTube video that was really helpful to me. And he goes through different optimal settings that you can use. So be sure to check out his channel and his video if you want to see how more to optimize your video. Here's a little tip I did though. If you go back to media, open capture device, and if you click the checkbox show more options on the bottom left, you'll notice that everything you changed will show up under the edit options text box at the bottom. And unfortunately, I do have to set these settings every single time I open VLC. So to save time, I copy my settings and I paste them into just a text file and I save it and so I can copy and paste it every time. Sometimes you might get an error like this. This has been showing up for me lately and where it doesn't have the sound working, so you might have to reconfigure some of the settings yourself. And to stream your Nintendo Switch gameplay, you'll want to download OBS, which is another free software that's very popular in the streaming community. There's a ton of video tutorials out there on this, but I want to show you how I connect it to my Switch. So you can use it to stream or even just record, which is what I'm doing here to show the interface. And here, really, you just need two source components. You can ignore this third display capture four because that's what I'm using to record this. But all you really need is first the game capture. Here are my properties. I have the window set to VLC media player. You can also use window capture or display capture. Those will work as well. And my audio input capture, this is really important to get the sound working. I have my device set directly to my video capture card. So in this case, it's digital audio interface 2-USB 3.0 capture. So this is the way that it best works for me. And it seems to have been working so far on hours of streaming Nintendo Switch. And of course you could add other things like I have my mic input here. I'm not going to go into all of that. I have a ton of settings set for that and that I tested as well. But if you guys are interested in seeing more OBS settings that I have, I'm happy to make a video of it. And to show that this actually works, here's my Switch controller and I'm controlling the game here. And you could play all your games on Switch on your computer. My name is Inioke, and if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave a thumbs up because I spent quite a few hours editing all these pieces over multiple days. And if you want to catch me live stream various games almost every night, be sure to subscribe to see when the next one is. And as always, thanks for watching.